In today's video, we're opening my 24 pound palette boxes. Stay with me. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really sorry, first of all, it has taken us so long to get the video out. We're between the us buying the, obviously, the, um, the last cheap palettes, we bought another six palettes, so both friends were ramo. Uh, we honestly didn't have one opportunity to film this, but I will try harder next time. So this was actually the palettes that we bought a couple of weeks back, and the last one was actually a palette of four boxes that we bought, and we only paid £24. If you remember watching it, the £18 box brought us in quite a lot of money. However, obviously, stuff was a bit weird and different, and we haven't sold any of this yet. However, this stuff looks a bit different. So, without further ado, let's get on. As I said, we only have four boxes and oh my goodness, when I opened the box, I was really, really surprised. Um, the boxes are extremely, extremely heavy, so I might have to get Dad to come in and sort of move them around. But anyway, so this was, I think, either liquidation palettes or God knows what, but oh my goodness. First thing I see, it's a wearing glass because it's absolutely minging uh, from the warehouse. We have basically taps. Um, it all looks like the sort of the taps you get in like public toilets, if you know what I mean, or like basically in the new build houses when they do use the single like a lever things. But nonetheless, that stuff, it's like every time I had taps like that, that flew out of the door. It's nothing particularly expensive. You're probably looking at about £20 a piece, but they do fly out the door because it's just what people use a lot in the new build. So we have, so far I can see... And it's, it's the only thing, it's minging. I really didn't want to do this inside, but it's, yeah, we kind of had to. So we have so far three, four, five, six, seven boxes. I'm gonna pile them up there. So, and it looks like we continue with the same kind of style taps, different brand. Again, extremely, extremely minging. It's just crazy. It's £24. Again, I've no idea. Well, I do have an idea. Like with the other palette, we had a bag of like soil pup stuff on the top as well. Like quite big things. And I appreciate that people really do not want to take this home. Neither did, neither did we really. But that's probably why the palette's gone so cheap. Um, this is again taps. And again, you can see the condition of the boxes. So again, it's the same thing. I will have to put them somewhere. And we literally have, I think it's tap after tap after tap. Let's have a look. Oh, they're the single ones. Shall we have a look? <laughs> it looks like a gun. Just tap spas. Look at that. It's pretty snazzy for, it's got their own branding on the back. So it feels like a, you know, good enough quality for just the basic tap. Again, if we can sell them for like 10, 15 pounds, would you reckon? I should be able to get away with that. I'm hoping, for ease of my listing, is there's going to be only a couple of varieties. So basically means I'll pick to one, clean them all up, and then put them on the shelf. I know we've got some other stuff in there. Hold on. Oh, some parts. Hold on. I'm going to put this on the floor, I think. Hold on. We get to the bottom. It looks like a dirty car part or something. Oh, boiler part. I don't know. Some more taps. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that. Gutters, is it? I like linking stuff or something. It's like, where the hell is that bin? That's just disgusting. I don't know if I want to be cleaning this up. I don't know what it's worth. Uh, Polyflow to square adapter. I don't think that's what it is, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's gross. But yeah, I can probably afford to throw this away or like maybe just like boot sell it, I don't know. And we have bathroom overflow, oh, some more pipe stuff. That's weird. Plastic, okay. Again, it's probably worth you know, 10, 15 quid at least, wouldn't it? I would imagine. Uh, and then we have some little parts, Bristan or Brystan, whatever you pronounce it. They all have their stupid bags attached with. Um, what it is, so kind of good. Then, if there's something that we're not sure about, <laughs> it's written on the paper. So it's kind of oh, your little oh, I see the built in little twisty things. Okay, the brand is good. So, basically, guys, 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 some more taps, the same. Uh, we've got something bigger as well. I'm gonna be there like all day doing that. 
You're probably already bored, but you know, such is life. That looks like tiles, hold on. Don't know. That's weird. They attach together. <laughs> Oh, buff handles. Okay. Funnily enough, actually, on the... I was on this box. Oh my God, I'm really sorry. But yeah, on that palace there, we had three boxes of buff handles. Like three boxes or four boxes and about 20 each. And they're about 25 pounds. Similar thing to that. But they're ready to go now because, well, they were too dirty, so they had to go. But yeah, that's on the top of that boxes here. That's really nice. It feels really weighty. <laughs> like, really weighty. Okay, right, I'll get rid of that. See, in this job and filming those kind of videos, when you're just opening this stuff, it just... It's not really easy, you can imagine. And it's not very glamorous, neither. Dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. If some of this... Like, I know warehouses are dirty places, right? But this is just... Fucking gross. <laughs> okay, right, so... Let me get all this stuff in there, and then I get Daniel to get this off. Or shall I try and get this off? Let me try and get this off, shall I? No fucking chance. <laughs> Excuse me, Dan, please, would you mind? <laughs> okay, we're back. Thank you, Daniel, very much. So, next box here. It's not as heavy, and a little bit more random. Nah, okay. Still got wrist and taps. <laughs> My goodness. I can supply the whole country with bloody taps, couldn't I? Uh, oh, that looks like pair of shoes, I think. Safety trainer, size seven. Okay, yeah, shoes, like brain spankers, look at that. I know size seven, I don't know if it's not probably as popular, but I have no idea what the shoes, normally work shoes are between 20 and 50 quid, depending, or some are more, if you're going for coffers, but here we are, okay. Sort of a connector, something. Oh, get out! Uh, some electrical. Through the box. Oh my God! Get out! The boiler. Boiler. Oh, boiler parts could be pricey, couldn't they? Couldn't they? Could be if you maybe look through a screen. Uh, it's t taped. Oh, okay. No, there's no screen in there. No, no access points. Okay. Yeah, but boiler cool. parts could be expensive. We've got an oil boiler. Oh, in some parts are like stupidly expensive, like stupidly expensive. But I don't know. All the boilers have to imagine because they cost like a few thousand pounds. Other spare parts cost a few hundred pounds, I hope. <laughs> right, let's put that down. So, genuine parts, backseat. Oh, okay really nicely bubble wrapped I don't know oh it tells me on there actually Igen box Pectron it's very light but yeah I want to be gentle because I know anyway okay 50 quid maybe more okay more he says more so we'll have some of that thank you very much thank you for <laughs> thank you very much 24 pound palette <laughs> It could be all to do with the boiler stuff there, couldn't it? That's like a flute? Or flu. <laughs> I've done this again, I call them flute. My goodness, yeah. It's a bit, uh, looks like it's been fitted already though, it looks a bit greasy. No, it's probably just this flat from the back. Oh, okay, fine. I'll put that scissors down there. <laughs> it must be a very expensive part. <laughs> because it's got a box to itself though, okay. No idea, but again, boys and girls, we have some part numbers here, which is so helpful because quite often we get things like this and without part number, if it's not written on it, it's like not meant to find out what it is. So I have like a massive tray of stuff, random stuff that one day I hope somebody will tell me what they are. So this is housing for something. 100% original. Mm. I don't know. No, it's 100% original. No. Yeah, it looks like plug-in 
open vent housing. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if all this stuff's worth at least like 30, 40 quid? At least this is not as dirty actually. Right, okay, let's move on quickly. Some more brace and taps. Oh yeah, that's the kind of stuff that was in um, a massive bag on the top of this pallet. You can see like it doesn't really make you want to buy something like this because it's just... Oh, that, that looks like flu as well, a big one. But yeah, the other things are plastic and they're gross. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. Just box of random like spare parts, like something broke. Some other tiny Bosch. But I would again assume. But let me get all this. There's loads of little tiny things there. Copper thing, some wood thing, or something. <laughs> Sounds so thick. I know nothing about the boiler stuff. Like, we do get random bits all the time, but I don't. This is kind of outside my domain. I think Daniel knows more about that stuff than I do. Right, this is, what is that? Belper O conditioning something export. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It doesn't really tell me. It's a lot of gobbledygook, but yeah, I can't tell you what that is. Sounds like a bit of paper inside, who knows? Right. <laughs> a lot of paper, a lot of paper. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So we have all that. Um, basically, is it all boiler pads then? Pretty much. Yeah, okay, right. So, there's a lot more paper though than stuff, but basically we have a couple more things. I'm not going to keep you guys long. And I know as somebody asked before, like, where do you get, like, how do you get those sort of pallets? For that sort of money, guys, you wouldn't again, because first of all, I wouldn't let you. <laughs> and secondly, I think that was just a little bit of a, a little bit of a mistake on whatever part happened on 9 or I really honestly don't know. But it's, this is just, like, unreal and honestly unreal. So, especially to get two. That looks like electrical. It's got an anti-static bag, so that is a PCB board, isn't it, of some kind? Wolseley. Okay, so, well, I know PCB boards cost a lot of money. We looked at some for our washing machine before, didn't we? And there's like 150 quid for something, isn't it? So, who knows? And the last box, let's have a look at the last box here. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a massive PCB board. Crikey. It's a big guy. Um, there's no part number but maybe something on it hopefully it says original repuestos originalis <laughs> it's just spare parts original spare parts in many many languages is written but it's got to be um is that all oh, no hold on it's got comlet but that's like a yeah, I don't know. We might be able to find somehow a paperwork inside that corresponds to that, I would imagine. So if we struggle to find out. So let me get this out of the way and we'll see. There's actually another two boxes on the floor. If I haven't lost you already, then do stay with me. Right. Yeah. All right. So I just cleared the area a little bit more. So we have a light box, which only entices me to think that we're going to have the same small boiler parts or empty boxes. <laughs> That's that's a metal bit. Mm, connection something. Okay. Plumbing part. Okay. <sighs> 20 millions of papers again. Tiny, like, things. I know some of those, like, valves things could be expensive. Float blast. Okay. That's nothing. We had something like that before. They're not too much money quite a few of that. Yeah, so it's all plumbing stuff here, isn't it? To do with plumbing, isn't it? Valves. You'd be surprised if we had some valves, like a big guys, like copper ones. They're worth like 150 quid just purely brass. because of the copper. Oh, brass, sorry, brass. Sorry. Um, yeah, pat numbers. It's all written, some that's written in foreign language though, but... Myra. Mmm, genuine spare part. Yeah, you Pay two hundred and fifty pounds for a shower, then you pay another seventy quid for spare part, <laughs> which is normally the case, I think. 
it's really heavily bubble wrapped, so I assume that could be yeah, some part for shower, for electric shower. Right, I see we've got loads of... Oh, in there. My hands are getting really hot on those gloves. There's all, oh, loads of these. Yeah, they're all um, the boilers. Boiler bits. Yeah. It's got, like, numbers on it. Danfoss. Yeah, they're, like, yeah, they're kind of like filter for the jets. Filter for the jets, okay. Well, maybe they're worth 10 of each, maybe? Yeah. A bit nice. A bit more. Right, we have... Ooh. Let's have a look. This one actually looks like it was actually going somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where. That'd be just rude. Oh, it's box within a box. So probably a tap or something broken. Let me get it open. Huh. That's not exciting. <laughs> Some metal screw on job with some stuff <laughs> wonderful so excited <laughs> couldn't wait to open that and can't wait to sell it right okay it's it might be something written on a box but i can't get the box out without totally covering it in my ming minging fingerprints right so some motherboard plasticky thing we've got paperwork underneath so we can work this out i'm sure I'm going to be a busy, busy girl again. Still going through the six pallets that we have. It was absolutely ramo. Uh, Baxi. We had Bappy, now we have Baxi. Boiler. Boiler. A little valve, thermostatic valve or something. Okay. I like it going on boxes, so cute. Right, and basically just some other boiler parts. Okay, right, okay. I'm bored of that one now. It's all right. Again, like 24 quid is great. So we've got the last box on the floor. It's heavy, so I assume it's going to have taps. Let me get this up and have a look. Last box, guys. I'm going to keep it brief because, frankly, I'm really hot in that. So we have some... Oh, yes, we had some on the other palette. The uh, metal um, drainage, what you call them? Um, oh, my God. That's the one. Gutter stuff. Right, there's two more there, and basically we have some bath taps, and looks like they're all the same. Apart from, yeah, we have this, one, two, three, got four. Okay, and I've got someone else. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, pop up, whatever. It's like totally sealed up. Probably a tap as well. And we've got a grower. Would that be a tap? No, something lighter. Again, grower stuff costs loads of money. Oh, it's a toilet button flush. Nonetheless, it's plastic, but nonetheless, it should be 20 quid, 20, 25 pounds, maybe, if not a little bit more. Has that not got a sensor on it? Is there a little light on the front? Uh, I don't know. I can't see a light. Is there a button there? Bottom? No, I can't see. No. Oh. There's some other bits there to fit it, but who knows? Yeah. A scented one be nice, I would love to, just imagine not to have to touch. Uh, cosmopolitan Alpine White. No, it doesn't say, but who knows. But nonetheless, and yes, basically guys, there are just those buff taps, which is again, is great. So it's Ideal Standard, which is one of the quite good makes. So they do boilers as well, don't they? So, ideal, so. so and they do obviously all the, yeah. So basically that I would imagine should be, I would say at least 50 quid each. So there you have it. Right, I'm going to stop rambling because you probably already got bored. It's not particularly the sort of the most interesting boxes, but the amount of money in that lot there, it's absolutely crazy. So anyway, well, I better crack on with that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you haven't got that bored. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you on the next video.